In this assignment, we will create a logo. Go to File and New and name this document with your ID underscore Alibris. Alibris is the name of an online bookstore. It's spelled like A L I B R I S. Set it as A4 size, vertical orientation, and unit in centimeter. You must set the color mode as RGB as we will print it at a, pro, uh, at a photo house. Then click OK. We will type our name, press enter, and type ID. And then you have to type enter again and type the name of this assignment, Alibris. When you finish typing, switch back to the selection tool and set the font to be Arial. Adjust it to 18 point area 18 point next you will rename this layer as name and you need to lock it using a padlock icon create a new layer and name it as pick PIC pick and then click OK next we will place the raft the photo or the scan for our drawing Normally, when we draw with Illustrator, we won't draw without it. We may scratch, uh, sorry, we may sketch a draft and scan it, or use pictures from magazines, or whatsoever we can use to edit our drawing. Go to File and place Find the Document Alibris. We need to tell the location of our original logo. Mine is stored in folder Convert Graphics Slat week 3 logo. You can decide whether you want to show the image by linking the image to your working document or include or we call it embed it to the document or not. If you uncheck this link box, the image will be included or embedded into this document. So check the box and click place because we would like to have smaller file next we need to adjust the size of the original to fit with our working area select this object and hold the shift key to expand it proportionately both vertical and horizontal hold the alternate key to expand it from center No worry if it will exceed the paper size. We will draw only the logo and leave off those areas. When you are done with adjusting, lock the layer and create a new one. And you have to name it as logo and then click OK. See, we have lock layer name and layer pick we leave the layer logo unlocked because we are going to work on this layer. Before you start drawing anything, I want you to study its structure and think of what shapes and how many it has been made of. You will notice that this logo is created from rectangular shapes and they are not a real rectangular shape since they are freely drawn. Using pen tool, we will create a rectangular shape without perfect right, right angle. So, it, um, if we use rectangle 2, it will give a right angle, which is not what we want. Remember, when draw an image, we need to close the outline. You will notice that if we don't close the outline, which is indicated with green lines, you won't see green lines on the open side like this. Therefore, we need to create another line to seal the area and get a nice rectangle. Now, okay. Now we are going to, I'm going to get into details. Let's look at the logo. Switch to pen tool. You need to set the color field as white and we don't need stroke here. So we simply check it as none or no color. Click on each point first, second, third, and fourth. And don't forget to click.
click at the original point again which is the fifth time that we click for a rectangular shape clicked you will see the pen sign with zero click to see the shape what we get is a solid shape but we can fix its uh, opacity so we can see through to the image behind right click and select transparency you can adjust the opacity set it down a bit and we can see the background repeat the process to create more objects use pen tool 1 2 3 4 and 5 adjust the opacity down so don't forget uh, and don't forget to click the original part to seal the chips now we get three rectangular shapes well this is just a quick practice deal so it's kind of rough but you need to be more precise when you draw for real logo we need to change their colors to be as close as the original as possible select all three objects and adjust opacity to 100 we will start from the left one first double click on field icon choose the left one double click on the field icon and the color picker panel will pop up select color range or select color orange for this one then yellow for the middle one we may use this color too the color palette if it is not there you may find it at color a uh, window and you have to choose color for the third one it is kind of bluish or violet so if you would like to get this color just choose the right color for this one you can double check how the original logo looks like by closing the layer logo you may notice that they are overlapped to each other therefore the opacity must not be at 100 percent maybe it should be around 60 percent then you have to select transparency and decrease opacity to 60 percent then close layer logo and you will see how it's quite close to uh, the original if you feel opacity is too low increase it to 70 percent okay you can increase it to 70 percent that's it and we can adjust the color too so that it will be more close to um, so that it can be closer to the original this one should be more violet pigment make this one a bit more transparent as well this violet shape needs to have a lower opacity since violet is quite a strong color 70% might be good uh, so 70% make it look too solid now this is the original and this is the replica so see how close they are we will type the name Alibris create a new layer and close layer logo rename layer 4 as Alibris using the type to do not drag a box simply click and type in A L I B R I S without any space between these characters just type in then we will change the font we use Georgia which looks similar to the original I guess every computer have this font installed already you can adjust the text size make sure it's about the same size to the original what you need at the moment is just the height don't forget to press the shift key just only the height that you need to worry about don't have to worry about the width at the moment 
next you have to highlight the letter A just the letter A and set it as italic move the letter A over the original and then we will set the distribute rate of this text select the character panel and use tracking tool adjust the number to about 200 200 well it is too much and if it is 100 it is still too close I think 150 should be okay. You can type in it as well. But mm, I think 150 is still too much. Maybe 140. 140. Wow, this is very beautiful. It's almost done now. Close layer pick and click eye icon to open layer lo logo. See, we have got a perfect replica of Alibis logo. Don't forget to save this file.